Time to start your day with all the news you're waking up to now on ITV1 on Friday's Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. The race to get Brits out of Gaza. Border force officials arrive in Egypt in the hope of evacuating 200 British citizens trapped in the enclave as the EU calls for pauses in fighting between Israel and Hamas to allow aid to get through. Former Justice Minister Crispin Blunt has confirmed that he, he is the Tory MP arrested on suspicion of rape and possession of a controlled substance earlier this week. This is the dramatic moment. Heavily armed police in Maine surrounded the home of relatives of Robert Card, who is a suspect in the worst US mass shooting this year, which has left at least 18 dead and 13 injured. Outrage, sadness and grief are just some of the emotions you can feel lingering here in this town among people struggling to comprehend the events of the last 48 hours as police step up their efforts to try and find the suspected mass killer. She bravely fought for justice after her ex-boyfriend shared intimate footage of them online. Campaigner and influencer Georgia Harrison tells us why she's still fighting to change the law to protect future generations of women. That's after seven this morning. million albums, a Grammy Award and one epic lie. Millie Vanilli ruled the 80s but were brutally cancelled after their lip-syncing scandal was exposed. Surviving member Fab Morvan exclusively reveals how going from fame to shame overnight left him heartbroken. And we're in for a changeable weekend with some sunny spells, some showers, but also some fairly persistent rain. Weather warnings are in place. And remember, the clocks go backwards this weekend. All that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday, 27th of October, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Kate Garraway and Adil Ray. Good morning. So our main news is that border force officials are on standby, <clears throat> excuse me, in Egypt to help the 200 British citizens trying to leave Gaza. 